if I knew this is how you were gonna react, I wouldn't have told you anything. All right, so you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the time we're doing another episode, we are doing, we're doing it. What? Why did I get confused in my head for a second? We are doing another episode. We're gonna find out what happened. Last time we didn't go on the date because something happened. Basically, the uncle is, like I said, crazy. Something's off with him, and I was right. So we're gonna find out what happens, what this tea and drama is today. Also, if Blake is upset with us or not, he better not be. Also, I don't know why she just didn't tell him, but we're gonna just jump into it and see what is happening today. Hi, Blake, what are you doing here? I'm happy to see you, long time no see. <laughs> long time no see, yeah. Long time no see. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, I uh, I wasn't sure what to say. You could always tell me why you stood me up. Well, here's the thing. Um, your uncle's actually psycho and he's trying to steal money from you and your dad. So that's why. I've already told you it was a work-related thing. Yes, but you also said you'd tell me more later. Well, it's not really that much later, is it? Yeah. So how about now? Not here though, let's go to my office. What's up with all the secrecy? You're about to find out, it's just a precaution, better safe. Better safe than sorry, yeah. Better safe than sorry. When I was on my way to see you, I overheard something. Sounds juicy. <laughs> He's like, I love gossip. I swear, guys love like tea more than girls. It's nothing good, Blake. It never is. It was your uncle's talking to someone on the phone. I'm not exactly sure what the context was, but from what I've heard, I think your uncle's involved in something illegal. Like what? Embezzling funds from the hotel. This hotel, are you sure? Y yeah, I'm pretty sure not entirely. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay, I don't appreciate the this, okay? At least we're trying, okay? You aren't doing anything. Does it mean you have proof? I'm working on it. Any progress? Not yet, but I won't give up until I find the truth. If you don't have any proof, then how do you know Harlan's doing it? Because we overheard him talking about it, saying he's gonna be rich and all this. Why are you questioning us? Okay, you know what? I feel a little... You know, I should just shouldn't have told you if I knew this was gonna like if this if I what, what do I say if I knew this is how you were gonna react, I wouldn't have told you anything. I know for a fact that some funds are missing, and so far he's the only suspect. He didn't exactly say what he was stealing, but that's what it sounded like. You have to trust me, Blake. Hello. Okay, I do trust you. I know you wouldn't be accusing anyone of anything unless you had a good reason to. That's not what it seemed like just a minute ago. So if you say Harlan's involved in something shady, I believe you. Thank you, Blake. I know how easy it could have been for you to dismiss my concerns since Harlan is your family, but I'm glad you didn't. Hey, in case you haven't realized yet, I'm never going to put anyone above you, family or not. <laughs> that, that's, that's like sometimes a good and a bad thing. Like, uh, sir, you're an angel, Blake. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty damn great. Okay, I wouldn't take it that far. I know it might be not the best time to talk about your outfit, what about it? It's beautiful. You are beautiful. I find it so damn hard not to stare at you when you look like that. And as soon as I saw you, I knew I'd be in trouble. What do you mean? Well, for one, I told myself I need to stay mad at you for longer than two minutes. That didn't work. What else? All I can think about is throwing you a kiss. <laughs> oh, and kissing you until your lips go numb. Um, so here's the thing. No, that sounds amazing. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Please don't do that. But sadly, I have to go back to try and figure out what's going on with the funds. Or better yet, you could take a break. Like you said, you aren't getting anywhere with your investigation, so clearing your head might help. What would we do? Steal a bottle of something expensive and dance under the stars. <laughs> Every girl's dream. I happen to have a key to the rooftop. It's nice and private up there. I could give you the romantic evening you've been promised. This is my chance to make it up to Blake for missing our date and spend a romantic night with him. Earn Blake's forgiveness by dancing with him. Choose your job over Blake once again. But now he knows, so maybe he can help us after. So I should earn his, okay, it's not that serious though. Like we really shouldn't be doing this. Anyways, like he should be helping me instead of like saying, let's go like on the rooftop, you know? But I guess I will. That sounds like a great time. Does it mean you're in? I guess. Let me lock up my office first. No rush, I'll find something for us to drink aiming you at the top floor in five. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, that, he did that very fast. Why is there a bed? Like, what is all this? Just a few things I put together for us. When did you get the time to do it? That's what I was doing all day today. Oh, he did it all day? Well, we're here now, so yeah, it's, it's what counts. Oh, so this was meant to be part of our date? I was planning to take you up here after the restaurant. I'm really sorry I messed up your plans. It's fine, Allie. The only thing that matters is that we're here now. Would you like to have some champagne now? Yes, please. She said from the bottle, period. <laughs> is it okay? Yes, it's really nice, thank you. I definitely needed a drink after that day I've had. In that case, I think you should have another sip. Are you trying to get us drunk, sir? 
You know, this reminds me of the first time I met your dad. Oh yes, we were supposed to have dinner at his place, but he was late. I got upset because I thought I was the problem and your dad didn't want to meet me. Little did you know that it wasn't you. My dad's just a jackass. You opened a bottle of some ridiculously old and expensive wine to cheer me up. It was a gift from John Aqua. Dad's dearest was saving it for a special occasion. When your dad did show up, we were already tipsy. He looked so angry. Yet you couldn't stop giggling. It was worth it. No wonder Tony's never liked me. I didn't exactly make the best first impression with him. You might have been drunk, but you were still the sweetest thing. Nothing was your fault. I appreciate you saying that, Blake. We have a lot of history, don't we? We've made so many memories together. What would you say is your favorite memory of us? Easy, it's night, right here, right now. My favorite memory is being crafted as we speak. Really? How come? When you broke up with me, I didn't think I'd see my best friend ever again. <laughs> oh, guys, he's so cute. <laughs> Let alone have another chance to go on a date with you. Yet here you are. I've never been more thankful for anything in my life. Dance with me, Allie. Guys, he's actually so cute. Can I have a Blake? Someone take me to a rooftop. Thank you for coming up here with me. I should be the one thanking you, Blake. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be cooped up in my office looking for a needle in a hay sack. Stack, sack, stack. <laughs> this has been a much needed distraction. I'm always happy to distract you from work. You're great at it. The rest of the world just seems to disappear whenever I'm with you. Does it mean you're no longer thinking about my uncle? Well, I wasn't until you just said your uncle. Now I am. As a matter of fact, I'm not. You're the only thing on my mind. Good, I'd very much like to keep it that way. Oh, 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 he did a little dip. Okay, he said Rome. Oh, she's cold. Are you cold? I am a little. Can we head back inside? We could. Or if you'd like to stay up here a little longer, we could wrap up in blankets and cuddle. I promise to keep you warm and cozy. Blake wants me to stay here and spend more time with him, and so do I. Let the magical night end. Oh, don't let it end. And get close. Go back to your office and leave Blake here all alone. Why is it always like leave him alone? Why can't it be like he comes with us to the office or like something like that? <sighs> can I have to pay for it? It seems like you're making me an offer I can't refuse. Let's sit down and wrap up. Are you feeling warmer now? Much, thank you, Blake. Anything for my girl? Oh, my girl, my girl, <laughs> my girl. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna say. Your girl? Unless you mind me calling you that. Not in the slightest. I've been your girl since the day I met you and I always will be. Come here. You smell really nice. <laughs> I can't believe you still wear my favorite cologne after all these years. I've thought about changing it a few times. Why didn't you? You might find it silly, but I wanted to be able to drive you crazy if you ever came back. Blake, you don't need any special cologne to drive me crazy. Oh, really? Yes, a thousand times yes. And I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long. You didn't deserve it. Good things are worth waiting for. You need to stop being so loyal to me. <laughs> Who says that? You need to stop being loyal to me, okay? Go cheat on me, go hook up with someone else, go just, you know what? Who cares about, just go do some, go do whatever you, whatever. Or what? Or I'll never stop feeling like the worst human being in the world. Ali, what are you talking about? You're amazing. I don't care what happened in the past, okay? All that matters is that we're here now. And where I am is next to the most brilliant, gorgeous woman I've ever met having the best night ever. Me too, I don't want this night to end, ever. It will, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll have many more nights like that ahead of us. Our wonderful journey together is just the beginning. Like, can we step to the sunrise? Girl, you got work in the morning. Like what? Where in this is a good idea? Do you want to watch the sunrise together? Yes, please. I bet the view would be to kill for. There's nothing that can beat my view though. You're so cheesy. Since when do you mind? I don't, not at all. I'm just happy to be here with you. Good morning, sleepyhead. Morning. What time is it? Last time I checked, it was around seven. It's already seven? What happened to watching the sunrise? Well, I did watch it. It was magnificent. You, however, were passed out. Why didn't you wake me up? Because you're the most adorable thing in the world when you're asleep. Not cool, Blake. Not cool. Hey, you wanted to watch the sunrise with me because you thought it would be romantic, right? Yes, I did. But isn't you falling asleep in my arms here on the roof while I hold you and watch you sleep even more romantic? I suppose it is. So you forgive me for not wanting that moment to end? You're one sweet talker, Blake. I need to go now. My work day is just about to start. Must your job always take you away from me? I'm so sorry I don't have rich parents to mooch off. Okay, uncalled for. Uncalled for, girl. Ouch. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> He's just gonna let that slide. That would hurt my feelings so much if someone said that to me. You'd better. A few days later. What the actual? What? Did he buy a car? What? What the hell? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you talking about Harlan's expensive looking car? You bet. It's not just expensive looking. That car costs a small fortune. How do you think he was able? I told you that's. How do you think he was a bit? Yeah. How do you think he was able to afford it? He's by no means poor. My dad pays him handsomely. 
and some lay. Yeah. However, he's always been very conservative when it comes to spending. So the fact that he's bought this ride all of a sudden must mean that he's coming to money. A lot of it too. We need to confront him, Blake. Do you think he'd just admit to embezzling funds so easily? Nobody might say something that wouldn't implicate him. He's clearly getting bold, driving his car to work and everything. So if someone were to stroke his ego, he might crack. You're right, it's an excellent idea. Since you come up with it, you should be the one to talk to Harlan. It'd be so satisfying. Okay, I'm just gonna pay for it because I wanna I wanna catch him. I know he's not good, so let's do it. I'm on it. Good morning, Mr. Ellington. Morning, Allie. That's a sweet ride you got there. Is it yours? Yes, I bought her yesterday. I didn't realize you were such a car enthusiast. I'm not, but I'm sure everyone has dreamed of owning a car like that when they were little. I'm glad you finally been able to fulfill your childhood dream. And now you and your brother can be car twins. Car twins? Doesn't Mr. Ellington have a car just like that? Who, Tony? No, this car's actually one up from his. Are you saying that your car is better than his? I wasn't purposely trying to get a better car, but this baby just spoke to me. You know, the way you're talking about your car is making me want one. Granted, I wouldn't be able to afford something this cool. Oh, it took me years before I could afford it too. Don't worry, Allie, you'll get there. Now without stealing from my own brother, I won't. So would you mind telling me what car dealership you got your baby from? I'd love to give them a call and see if they have anything for me. Sure, I'll text you their number. The guy I was dealing with was Mark Stones. He's the best, do talk to him. Oh, I definitely will. Mark Stone speaking. Hello, Mark, it's, it's a, uh, um, Marissa, yeah, yeah, it's Marissa. Uh, Marissa, uh, Marissa, uh, I can't think of her last name. Um, Jones, Jones, there we go. Marissa Jones, I'm Harlan Ellington's fiance. <laughs> How can I help you, Miss Jones? You see, my groom-to-be showed up home with an expensive-ass car last night. And when I went through his phone, I found your phone number. So I assume you're the reason I won't be getting the wedding of my dreams? Forgive me, Miss Jones, I had no idea Mr. Ellington was engaged. However, that doesn't change the fact that the car he's bought is absolutely perfect for him, and he's been dreaming about it for a while, too. Has he now? Yes, but he didn't commit until late, late April. That's when I started working for Wonderland. I assure you, it was a good purchase. Even his friend has approved of it. His friend? Who was it? I didn't catch a name, but he was an average looking man. I believe he wore glasses too. So Harlan definitely has an ally. I wonder if it's someone from the hotel. Well, I'll take comfort in knowing my husband really wanted it when I'm paying off the finance for the stupid car for the next 30 years. There's no finance for you to pay off Miss Jones. Mr. Ellington has already paid for the car in full, all cash too. So he's rich. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's a thief. Your fiance isn't a poor man. Far from it, actually. Oh, I bet he isn't. Thank you for your time, Mark. You've been a doll. So let me sum it up. Harlan only committed to buying his car when you became the new general manager. He bought it in cash and there is a witness of his activities. Yes, and he also seems to be jealous of your dad's wealth, which gives him a motive. Of course, it might turn out to be nothing but a coincidence, but it most likely won't. Well done, Allie. Now we all need to do is find the guy Harlan's in cahoots with and get him to testify. Sounds easy enough. No, it doesn't. Where, where does this sound easy? It's not, but as I've learned time and time again, nothing is impossible for you. I know obsessing over catching Harlan Red Hannah wasn't good for me, yet I couldn't help it. I spent most of my time trying to connect the dots and see if I missed anything. So when a phone call from my best friend interrupted my train of thought, I could hardly focus on what she was saying. Sorry, what did you just say? I said, would you mind babysitting your goddaughter tomorrow night? You want me to babysit Melody Brooke? Where's Bradley? What's... You do not try, where's Bradley? Yeah, where's Bradley? Right here with me. I meant, where is he gonna be when you're out? He'll be out with me. Bradley and I haven't had any long time since Melody was born. Wasn't she just born though, like two weeks ago? <laughs> like, hi. We're not complaining, but we do miss our date nights. So what do you say? Will you be able to help us out? Melody is super easy and I'll make sure you won't have to do much. I'd love to, but I'm busy. I have a prior, I have a prior engagement. Yeah, I have a prior engagement. I'm sorry, Rita. I really wish I could help you. Oh, no worries, Allie. I'll ask someone else. I'm being a terrible friend, aren't I? Finding out the truth, Blake would be disappointed. Hopefully, Rita, she'll be fine, okay? It's very last minute. Um, I'll just say, hopefully, she'll forgive me. Hopefully, Rita will find it in her heart to forgive me. After all, it's extremely important for my career the next day. However, what I didn't anticipate was how guilty I was going to feel the following day. Really? It's not, it's really. This is my first day off in nearly two weeks and I'm spending it working. If I keep this up, I'll end up being all alone in five years. Maybe I should take a break from work and go babysit Melody. I'm sure Rita would appreciate it. Before you go, you might want to change. Okay, what are we gonna wear? Why, why would we wear any of these to go ba like babysit? I'm sorry, but these are just, this is so dumb. But that one is very cute, but it does not look like a babysitting outfit. Like that looks more realistic but it, it's not even realistic either. I feel like we should just wear our old hoodie. Yeah, let's just wear our old hoodie. Rita's still going to love me even if I don't look. You're literally babysitting her baby. Like, why does it matter what you're wearing? Here goes nothing. Not that I'm not happy to see you, but do you want to tell me what you're doing here? I'm here to be a good godmother and look after Melody. I thought you were busy. 
he, yeah, what well, we were, but then we were like, why not? I was, but I'm not anymore. You look fantastic, by the way. Thanks, I miss wearing tight clothes. So, uh, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, <laughs> not Blake babysitting. Hi, Ali. I'm Rita. Why is Blake here? You see, Ali, when you said you couldn't babysit Melody, Bradley gave Blake a call. And unlike me, Blake said yes. Hey, don't be sad. I think it's great you both are here. I mean, Melody will get to spend some quality time with her godparents. I think it'll be great if you both stay. I agree with Rita. It would be a lot easier and a lot more fun with you here. Pretty please, Allie. I get to spend some time with Blake, bond with Melody, and make my best friend. Oh, I'm already here. I'm already here. Why not? You're right. We'll be able to take care of Melody even better together. That's the spirit. I'll see you guys in two hours. Call me if you have any issues. We'll do... Excuse you. We're not gonna have issues. Yeah. Excuse you, we're not gonna have any issues. I was just saying, <laughs> you have no faith. So it's just you and me now? And, and Melody. Yeah, I can't forget about her. And Melody. She's asleep at the moment. Oh, she really is easy, isn't she? Let's hope she stays that way. Since you're stuck here with me for the next two hours, what would you like to do? Maybe we could watch a movie? You can pick one while I take Melody back to her room. Uh, shouldn't we keep her with us? Do you need help? Should we keep her? I don't know. I don't know how babies work. <laughs> no, but they go in their rooms and then you have the baby monitor and all that. Do you need any help at all? It's fine. I've got this. Hi, what are we watching? I thought it'd be fun to watch a horror movie, a rom-com, action movie. A rom-com! How about a rom-com? Your favorite genre. Duh. <laughs> and you're gracious enough to put up with it for my sake. Anything for you. <laughs> Thank you. Come here. How come you're so much better with babies than I am? I don't know, I guess I've been around babies more than you have. Besides, you know how caring and nurturing I am. Right. That you are, you make an incredible dad. I'm hoping to one day, but I need someone to have a baby with. I'm sure someone would volunteer. You see, Allie, I don't want just someone though. Okay, the way they're like reaching for these comments, they're like, why can't they just be like, like obviously you guys wanna to be together. Like it just, I don't know why it's taking so long. I want you. You want me to be your baby mama? <laughs> I'm just your baby mama. Or is it? My baby something, I don't know. Maybe one day, well, I'm not really planning. I love to, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I love to, you know what? <laughs> I'd love to. I didn't expect you to say yes, but you're happy I did, right? Extremely, it would be a wonderful experience with you. Thinking about having a baby with Blake is giving me butterflies. That's a warning. <laughs> butterflies are a warning sign. No, I'm just kidding, they're, they're not. Are you nice and warm in your hoodie dress? As a matter of fact, I am. I know it's not anything pretty, but it's comfy. Yeah, and honestly, the way he dresses, I don't need to be spending money on outfits because he just doesn't look cute. Hey, you're babysitting. No one needs to look pretty for that. Let's keep watching the movie. This movie is funner than I thought it would be. See, rom-coms are awesome. It's not half bad. Sometime later. It sounds like Melody is awake. I'll go check on her. I'll come with you. Hey, little girl, you're all right. Do you think she needs a fresh diaper? Hers doesn't feel wet, nor is it smelly. So she's hungry? She might be. Would you mind getting her a bottle of milk from the fridge? I'll be back in a minute. Well, she's finally stopped crying, so I guess feeding her was the answer. It was. Well done, Allie. See, you aren't too bad yourself. I've learned from the best. This is actually really nice. What is? You and me spending time with Melody, it almost feels like she's ours. Yeah, but she's not, so. <laughs> you know, you two could babysit her whenever. She can be yours five days a week, if you please. Oh, uh, well, it would be nice to hear. We wouldn't want to take her away from her parents too, but yeah. We wouldn't want to take her away from her parents too much. Her parents don't mind. I think Melody's falling asleep again. I'll help tuck her in. Do you want to talk outside, Allie? Sure. How was your night? It was a blast, just what Brad and I needed. How about you? Did you have a good time with Blake? You mean with your daughter? My daughter must have been asleep most of the time. You and Blake, however, we watched a movie. It was nice. I knew it would be. What do you mean you knew? Hold on, was Blake always gonna come over and babysit Melody even if I had said yes yesterday? Maybe, maybe not. You're so bad, Rita. I do what I have to do to ensure my friend's happiness. It's a shame you didn't dress up though. You could have gotten Blake all worked up. Okay, what's your point? You have no shame, do you? None whatsoever. Sorry to interrupt you ladies, but Briley said Allie and I are okay to go home now. Absolutely, thank you so much for helping us out. It was our pleasure. How are you getting back, Allie? The weather is still nice, so I thought about walking. I'll walk with you. You're right, the weather really is lovely. New York doesn't get the best winters, but at least the summers are nice and hot. Wasn't London pretty much the same? It was similar but milder. It never really dropped below zero and it hardly gets hotter than 30 degrees. It makes sense. Why are you looking at me like that, Blake? I'm thinking about how lucky I am to know you. There's been something I've been meaning to ask you. What's up? Beautiful Allie, will you be my girlfriend again? Does Blake really want you to be his girlfriend again? Will you say yes? Well, why would we say no? I'm sorry, but saying no just is not an answer. So, yeah, the answer is yes. The answer will always be yes. Man, I'm like, I just dropped my phone. 
But that is going to finish today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see ya later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.